Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. In today's review we're going to take a look at another Black Series 6 inch figure. Uh, these next few come to us from Star Wars The Last Jedi and in today's video we're going to take a look at The Last Jedi himself once again. That is of course none other than Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and this is for all intents and purposes a really really nice figure. Um, aside from an ill-fitting cape and a lack of accessories which are the figure's only minor flaws um, this is a great representation of the character and I'm really really impressed with this one It's pretty much what we all expected from a six inch version of Jedi Master Luke And we're going to touch base on the details of the figure itself throughout this video So before we do that as always, let's take a quick look at the packaging that Luke comes in uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this packaging as I've made my feelings known about it in previous reviews I definitely feel like it's time for an update and this packaging is just boring me to death at the moment it's definitely time for something a little bit new and more exciting. Um, with regards to the packaging, as you can see, you've got the Black Series logo featured at the top with some rather nice artwork of Luke down in the bottom corner. Um, regardless of the packaging design, I'm still a big fan of the artwork there by Gregory Titus. That still looks really, really nice. You've got the name of the character in the corner, and then on the side of the box, you've got the number in the series. On the back, you've got the Black Series logo and the number once again, some artwork there, and again, a bio for the character, which is something lacking from the three and three quarter inch figures, so that's nice to see. It gives you a little bit more information about the character. So that is the packaging. Again, not going to spend too much time sharing that with you. Instead, we're going to jump right into the review of this figure. Right off the bat, if you want to pick this figure up for yourself, I highly recommend you do so. He doesn't seem to be hanging around on store shelves all that long. Um, so if you do want to get this guy and add him to your own collection, as always, there's a link where you can do so in the video description. So with regards to the figure itself, uh, as I said, he does have a couple of minor flaws, and I'll touch base on those throughout this video. Um, however, for the most part, it's a really, really nice addition. Um, the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, it's one of the best Luke Skywalker head sculpts that Hasbro have put out in recent memory. Um, it's definitely up there with the three and three quarter inch release of Jedi Master Luke. Um, so it seems that Old Man Luke is the best way for Hasbro to put out a Mark Hamill likeness, it would seem. Um, the rest of the figure, really nicely detailed. You've got fantastic detail in the robes, which I'll give you a look at. Uh, later on in the video um, Again a lack of accessories lets this one down a little bit But obviously at this point we don't really know if Luke even uses any weapons or accessories in the film um, Obviously this figure is screen accurate to how Luke appears at the end of The Force Awakens And I'm assuming into the start of The Last Jedi So for all intents and purposes it's a screen accurate version of Luke um, no other accessories are needed really, other than the removable robe. Um, don't get me wrong, it would have been nice to have seen a lightsaber, but I'm assuming that's been left out uh, to avoid spoilers in the film, uh, assuming he uses a lightsaber in the movie when it comes out. Uh, there have been Funko Pop vinyl figures and also some Disney Store merchandise where Luke has been included with a walking stick or a, a cane of some kind, which would have been nice to see. Or maybe even a Porg would have been a nice accessory to include. But uh, the lack of accessories, in my opinion at least, doesn't bother me. Uh, the figure itself is more than enough to warrant a purchase. Now, as I alluded to earlier in the video, the robes are very ill-fitting. Um, as you can see, they're very thin and they're soft goods. Uh, the colour is absolutely spot on. It's accurate to what we see in the movie, at least in The Force Awakens. Um, however, it just doesn't quite sit right on the figure. As you'll see, the hood is very big, very billowy, and doesn't quite look right over the figure's head. And the robe itself, it should drape over the figure's shoulders, but as you can see, it doesn't really do that. There are a couple of pieces of string that are attached to the inside of the robe, and these can be tied around Luke's neck. But with a little bit of fiddling and playing around, as you can see, the cape just eventually looks like it's floating behind the figure and it just looks a little bit awkward. And the only real way to get this robe in a somewhat decent pose is if you fold it over the shoulders and tuck it under the arms like so, which is a little bit of a pain. It takes a little bit away from the figure in my opinion. It would have been nice if Hasbro had included a piece of wire in the hood so you could pose and mould that around the shoulders. 
and just secure it in place a little bit better. Um, but beggars can't be choosers, this is what we've been given and again with a little bit of playing around and some posing you can get this in a, a decent looking pose. Now the robe itself can of course be removed, the hood can be retracted and as you can see that really gives us a really nice look at Luke's head sculpt underneath. Again, really really nice sculpt on this one, it's definitely up there with the 3 and 3 quarter inch release in terms of a decent Mark Hamill likeness. The sculpt and detail in the hair is absolutely spot on and it almost feels as though the 3 and 3 quarter inch version of this character is a scaled down version of the 6 inch figure which is really good and that's what I love to see in the modern day Hasbro products. Now with regards to the rest of the figure I'm going to remove the robes for you just so you can get a better look at the detail and the articulation underneath so there goes the robe again it's a nice heavy robe it flows really nicely when it's applied to the figure it's just really tricky to get it into a decent looking pose. Now with regards to the figure underneath the robes are really nicely sculpted again you've got some great texture in those as well it doesn't really show up too well on camera obviously because they're very bright coloured but uh, once you get this figure in hand you'll see what I mean. Uh, one thing that really perplexed me about the 3 and 3 quarter inch release and is apparent with the 6 inch figure is the appearance of a hook on the belt which is obviously more commonly used to store a lightsaber hilt. Now again the figure doesn't include one although I'm sure we can all assume that in the movie Luke will eventually attach some kind of weapon or lightsaber to his belt like so. Now as I mentioned the figure doesn't come with any accessories so this lightsaber hilt isn't included with the figure but that gives you an idea of what we could possibly expect in the film. Again that head sculpt is absolutely spot on. Luke also has his robotic hand which like the 3 and 3 quarter inch counterpart has some really nice sculpted detail going on with it. Really interested to know where the layer of skin or flesh uh, disappeared to that Luke obviously had over this robotic hand in the original trilogy. But then again there's a ton of information that I'm sure we're all waiting to hear about Luke Skywalker in the new film. Now with regards to articulation, this one is super articulated, obviously um, appropriate posability all round. We've got a ball joint and a hinge at the neck, so you can look up, down, all around. You've got hinges at the shoulders, a single joint at the elbow and a hinge at the wrist. A ball joint at the torso. We've got ball hinges at the hips and the lower robes of the figure are made of a very soft and rubbery plastic so they don't hinder the articulation in the lower body too much. That's really good. You've got swivels at the upper thigh, a double joint in the knee and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So you can get him in some really cool poses. Hopefully Luke sees some decent action in The Last Jedi and so the articulation with this figure won't be misplaced and you'll get him in some really cool poses and some dual scenes with some of your villains from the 6 inch line but all in all this is a fantastic figure. Uh, definitely a worthy addition to the collection. Uh, again like with the 3 and 3 quarter inch figure we've waited two whole years for this character to finally be released and Hasbro have not let us down they haven't disappointed with this guy he's really really good and again definitely worth picking up so again if you can overlook the lack of accessories and the uh, rather poorly put together robe great addition to the collection and as always you can pick this guy up via the link in the video description which will take you to staractionfigures.co.uk. At the time of filming this review, he is in stock and available to buy. However, as I mentioned, he isn't hanging around for long, so make sure you grab him while you can. So that is going to do it for this figure review of Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Master from the Black Series 6-inch line. Once again, he will grace our screens come December in The Last Jedi, and I can't wait to see Luke in action. And I'm really looking forward to what he's got to say. 
So if you enjoyed this review, guys, I'll be back with some more very soon. We're going to take a look at some villains, some more heroes from The Last Jedi, and some really cool characters from the second wave of figures to be released in conjunction with Force Friday 2. So make sure you stay tuned for all of those reviews, guys. I'll be back with many more soon. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.